I am not a video essayist. However, I feel like the subject of today's video is something that I really want to cover, and the only way I can do so is with a video essay. The natural conclusion then is that I produce a video essay in my own style, and hopefully you will enjoy this and are willing to deal with my insanity. With that disclaimer out of the way, I now present why Ultra Kill's dating sim is a great explanation and rebuttal of existentialism. To begin, I guess I should introduce Ultra Kill to those who haven't had the blessed chance to experience this work of art. Or rather, I'll let Ultra Kill present itself. This game is if Doom and a bottle of monster energy with 5 hour energy then poured into it fused Dragon Ball Z style into one of the most beautiful messages of chaos that would make even the Emperor of Man certain declared heresy. Now already you're probably wondering, what the fuck does this have to do with existentialism? And don't you worry, we will get there. And to get there, well, we've gotta go into level 2-4. It is in this level that we can unlock the fabled dating sim. To do so, we gotta sprint around and slap some power boxes. Doing that, we'll cut the water that flows throughout the level, and boom, we can climb a waterfall or something, and we enter this secret little place. Now that we've found the holy grail of dating, one would assume that kissing and other dating nonsense is about to unfold, as one would assume in a dating set. But no, Ultra has other things in mind. Rather than providing us with wholesome or not wholesome levels of love of Cupid's bow, we instead get philosophy. Think of it like you walked into Plato's room asking him for advice on how to get a girlfriend. Obviously you would be in for a unique experience. So now that we've arrived at the dating sim, it's time for me to begin breaking it down piece by piece to get at the entire point of this whole video, how this dating sim perfectly expresses the very complex ideals of existential dread, and then refutes it. Let's begin with Mirage. This is our classic female main in a dating sim, well classic only in the fact that she is the female main who seems to be the one we're trying to woo. In quite literally every other aspect, she is different and unique. Being foul-mouthed and constantly cursing V1 out, she's kind of like someone who's a normal-ish human. She didn't just fall in love with you because you walked into her. She's very human in her characterization, making it feel like you're just talking to some random girl you met and accidentally walked straight into. This matters, and is very important, because as the conversation goes on and she speaks more of her mind, we learn more about what lies beneath her tough composure deep-seated anxiety and dread over the brevity of her existence. Granted, it is a touch strange in the way she vents this to us. We bump into her and after a short convo, she begins to spiral into her dread. It is the spiral that I would like to applaud though. Its rapidly increasing mentions of futility and pointlessness resonate with how someone of this ideology would truly think and speak. Older Kill explains the ideals of existential dread by having it told to us in a way that someone who holds these views would truly think. Mirage is not presented as some idiot, but as a girl who has thought long and hard about this, and found her only conclusion to the questions of life is that it's all pointless. It is by presenting her this way that Ultra Kill can make a genuine argument for the pointlessness of everything. It's written as if Hikita truly understands their perspective and by truly understanding their perspective, one can make an argument that can truly refute it. Not no simple straw man or anything wrong, just actually debating their point. Which is exactly what Hikita does with V1's response, or our response, to her dread. 
V1 doesn't attack her, he doesn't call her an idiot, doesn't point out minor logical fallacies. Instead, they use and accept that logic to then prove there is reason and purpose, even if it is all pointless. V1 speaks like a friend who is there for her, and not like an enemy who is debating her, trying to prove she's wrong, rather she's trying to build her back up. And he builds her back up by providing a valid argument. Because even if something is brief, even if something doesn't matter in the long run, in the end it will matter for the moment, and that is what is important. I'll read some of V1's lines that really hammer home this refutation of Mirage's despair, because honestly they do a pretty good job at refuting the entire ideology as a whole. So first we have, because we have no greater purpose, we are free to set our own, to create self-defined goals for which to strive. In the end nothing matters, and therefore you have no reason not to do whatever you want, rather than whatever illusion of greater purpose is forced on you by others or even your own misguided thoughts. For some, it may be nothing, for some, it may be pleasure, for some, it may be creation, for some, it may be improving the lives of others. These lines all articulate a reason to have purpose, even if purpose is meaningless in the long run. For it doesn't matter about the end solution, what matters instead is the moment, and making the most of the moment that is life. It is these lines that speak so much to my personal philosophy. And these lines which remind me of my friends, much like V1, building me up in the past from this state of dread long ago. In the end, V1 restores the light to her world, the sky goes blue again, and her old plucky personality is revived. And I think this display of philosophy is truly beautiful, that's why I felt the need for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this and didn't just find it as a waste of your time. In the end, I'm not a literary person or a essayist, I'm just a STEM major who really appreciated the quality of this writing and wanted to express it somehow, some way. If you enjoy Ultra Kill, I intend on making more content on Ultra Kill in the future, and if this video is something y'all like, I may do more stuff like this in the future. In my description, I have a link to my Discord where I relax and vibe with other people, so feel free to join that if you are so interested. Overall, that's really all I've got for y'all today. This has been Christopher Beast, and hopefully you enjoy this. Ciao!